So the fear of failure is real and you should be scared of failure, but you should not be scared of failing in business. You should be scared of failing as a person, failing as a human, failing your responsibilities to the people that you apparently love. Now you're doing this, this is what is called cognitive dissonance. You're not consciously saying I'm not going to do this because I don't love my mum or I don't love my dad or I don't love my kids. Nobody sits and does that. Yeah, I'm not doing that business. I don't even love them. Why would I do that, right? Because they're probably selfish enough that they would do the business to give themselves as much money and, you know, power as possible that when people are that selfish, they'd actually be probably more motivated, I would guess. So it's cognitive dissonance, which generally means a disconnection between your action and the consequences of those actions. So you're not aware of what you're doing. But you choosing not to try is pretty much giving those people the middle finger, really. And deep down you're probably hoping that something lucky happens. Or I'll win the lottery. Or someone else will do it. Well, here's the reality. Nobody is going to come and save you. Not a single person. This is your mission and your responsibility to take on. I would much rather fail at a business five, six, ten times so that I could succeed as a man and succeed as a father, and succeed as a husband, and succeed as a son, and a brother, and a grandson, and a cousin, and an uncle, and all that stuff. I would much rather fail at business a few times, and take my lumps, and be embarrassed, and have people laugh, and have people ridicule me, and have to move city, and delete social media, and be chronically embarrassed with myself, so that I could succeed in all of those other endeavours in my life, because what matters more? A bunch of people's opinions on me, failing or succeeding, or... The fact that I was able to be that best version of myself for my kids and for my family and for the people that ultimately matter, for the people that work for me, for the people in my organisation. That's what matters the most to me, is doing that. So you should have a fear of failure. You should have an overbearing, chronic fear of failure that is so ingrained and stuck in your head that you can never get rid of it in your life. But it shouldn't be for starting a business shouldn't be for trying a business, it shouldn't be for going for the promotion, it shouldn't be for swapping industry, it shouldn't be for, should I go back and do that other degree in something that I really, really love and enjoy and leave this job that I completely hate, but will my income prospects be as good? That's not where your, fail, your fear of failure should be. Your fear of failure should be attached to not fulfilling what I believe is your human responsibility, to be able to care for the people that you love and care for them beyond... A reasonable level. I still love my mum. I still care for my mum. I'm still able to do things for my mum. I'm still able to do this and that. The likelihood is, is that you'll never have to do a multi six figure bailout of one of your family members. The likelihood is that they will never need a super expensive surgery that you need to cover. These are all likelihoods that probably won't ever happen, right? Realistically, percentage wise, they won't happen. But see if they do and you're in the situation and there is nothing you can do to help them let me know how that fear of failure or that feeling of failure actually feels that will be worse than anything you could ever imagine worse than a couple of people poking fun at you on the internet about oh he started a business ah oh it's this is what I always hear, people always like, oh, you start a business, you're posting videos, that's embarrassing, imagine videoing yourself. Well, stick to your small-time shit job then. You stick to your job, stick to, you know, doing whatever it is you do, you small-minded loser, you're never going to achieve anything in your life, because I am willing to do things that you're not willing to do, so that I can have results that you will never achieve. And God forbid something negative happens to a member of your family, you're going to be looking to people... Everyday people like myself and yourself and anyone you bump into in the street to bail you out for your lack of action and your, what? Failure! They failed, right? They failed that task. I would rather be ridiculed. I'd rather become an internet meme. I would rather become an internet meme, totally viral, laughed at every day and feel embarrassed about it and feel hard done by, whatever you want to call it, I would rather all of that than fail as a man, as an individual. Because one of them I can live with and the other I can't.